morning and welcome to Winnipeg now there's probably four or five different things that I want to remember to mention so I sort of got stuff laid out here to <laughs> Uh, kind of remind me. It's either that or I gotta have little post-it notes or something like that. Uh, or, or maybe the, maybe a teleprompter just off to the side there that you can't see. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna go to that extreme, but... <laughs> uh, anyway. Okay, first of all, uh, I, when I took the, the filters out of my, out of my, uh, air, my, uh, spray booth yesterday, and when I went to put them back on, uh, Jeff Donahue mentioned that what he does is he, he vacuums out his filters. And I'm thinking, yes, that's exactly what I do in my air filter downstairs in the workshop. I, I vacuum them out. Now, you've got to do it really carefully. You can't, you can't scrub on it. you just got to just lightly get rid of the, as much of the dust off the surface as you can. Otherwise, you're going to be opening up the little pores in the filter and the stuff is going to be passing through instead of getting trapped but it does actually work so i might i might do that yet uh i don't think i'll be doing it while i'm wearing uh the other jeff's nice shirt though because i think you know murphy's law says i'm going to be getting black smudges all over it so I'm, I, I won't be doing it I may, maybe i'll change my shirt here and do it uh however all right so we talked about that now, today I would like to maybe do some spraying, but I'm going to spray these little parts that have to be sprayed the 66. And we'll, we'll give this uh, clear coat another, another 24 hours to dry or cure, and there'll be less chance of it running. Now, we were talking about the, the uh, seagull droppings on the deck, and uh, I think what I'm going to do is uh, dig out my microscope and see if possibly we can't look at those to see exactly what they are. Now, I, I already know what it is. Well, I'm 99% I know what it is. But what do they actually look like when you see them enlarged a hundred times? Um, I think that it's, it's coagulated uh, pigment from, from the clear coat. Uh, and uh, yeah, in other words, when you shake it up, it's, it's, it's not pulverizing all the little thingies in there that make the make this clear coat look uh, flat when it when it dries uh, as far as I know that's the only difference between the flat clear and the the regular clear uh, the, the, the flat clear has these little I don't know I don't know what they are it's, it's not really a pigment it's more more of a uh, it's, it's just something to make the surface rough so that it so that it doesn't uh, reflect light anyway now, okay, we talked about that. Uh, Dennis, about 4.30 yesterday afternoon after I'd wound up yesterday's episode, the person that had taken your package to the post office and, and mailed it came by with the receipt. Now, unfortunately, I had requested the cheap rate, not knowing that the cheap rate does not give a tracking number. That would have been too bad. It would have been kind of fun. We could have, everybody could have tracked your package. <laughs> uh, but maybe, maybe you wouldn't want them to know where you live. So some people like uh, anonymity and uh, some people don't. That's why some people, they, they have a, an avatar instead of their real name in their, uh, you know, in their YouTube channel. Uh, they, they don't want anybody to know for some reason. Uh, and that's, that's fine. Hey, thanks for watching anyway. Uh, okay, so, so Dennis, uh, what I would like you to do, though, is that when you get it, if you could let us know that you got it. I'm going to guess that you should have it in about three weeks. And now, it could be that from Winnipeg, it, it goes by dog team <laughs> uh, you know, to, to the, to the, to the uh, west coast. And then from there, maybe it goes on some slow freighter to Australia <laughs> and then maybe and maybe uh, a, a kangaroo picks it up and puts it in his pouch and hops over to well I guess he'd have to he, yeah Tasmania is uh, is not on the mainland so I don't know how the kangaroo would have to swim anyway uh, <laughs> we're getting silly now aren't we 
Okay, if you could let us know when you get it, that, that would be much appreciated. Uh, but I'm, I'm sorry about the fact that there's no tracking number. Okay, we talked about that. Now, uh, why have I got my calendar out here with all my records of, of, of my weight and so on that I've kept for the last few years? Well, it was two years ago today that I started my big diet. If you remember, I started on a diet two years ago and I lost a whole bunch of weight. Well, I have put back almost all of that weight except for maybe 40 pounds. I'm about 40 pounds lighter than I was two years ago today. And today, by golly, we're going to start again. <laughs> How many times haven't I done that? But I think this time I'm a little bit more serious about it. And I think I'm going to get back into the same groove. I still got all my, you know, uh, well, I got the, the the weight chart and I, I write down my weights and stuff like that every morning. And and that's a bunch of this other stuff has to do with it to remind me that I took my medication because I'm think, if I'm thinking about the model table when I'm taking my medication, an hour later, uh, I'll think, did I take my, did I take it? <laughs> uh, I only take two medications. Uh, anyway, we won't get into that. Uh, let's, let's uh, recompose here. Actually, let's clean up this mess. Uh, <laughs> and uh, maybe spray some little parts. Oh, uh, we might have a sunrise, but it's not going to be for uh, about an hour. But I, I can see in this screen here, there's a bit of color. It looks like it looks like a clear sky, and uh, so that that means that we might get a nice sunrise. It might be spectacular. It might just be plain and ordinary, or it might actually cloud over between now and then. And uh, oh, oh, speaking of the clock, let see if I can get this uh, to show you. It, it received its signal last night, and uh, uh, try and get the light just right here. You'll see just, just right, right up here, there, there's a little symbol there. Well, that indicates that within the last, the last time I tried to get the signal, it got it. <laughs> so it, it should, I, I didn't check, but it should be synced right up with my, my watch here. Um, you know what? Who cares? Uh, let me get the adjusted a little bit. There we go. Yeah, we don't want you to have to look at a reflection. Okay, now is there anything else that, oh! Yeah, the few of you might have seen this. Now, I, I, for myself personally, I think this last, this last uh, test uh, video that I made is is a lot more definitive. And what what you look for? Some of you said that they thought that the spinning wheels were better. Well, if you, uh, what I found hard about that is that you had to follow one of those circles around. You know, focus on just one circle and follow it around. And if you did that. Yes, then you could see the difference. But otherwise, that, that whole thing, it was just too much razzle-dazzle. That's why I simplified it here. And when I was moving the, the pen back and forth, and that's all I was doing. I was just sliding it back and forth here on the model table and in front of the camera and uh, with a white background. And, but if you check the clip where, the, where there's this fine line, and when it's moving quickly, you can, you can quite clearly see that the uh, that the bottom screen is a little bit more fuzzy than the top screen, uh, and if you couldn't see that, that meant that your system is not uh, either that you, you might have been viewing it on a very small screen. That's, now that's another thing. If you're viewing this on a very small screen, like a maybe a uh, iPad Mini or a, your cell phone or something like that, you're not you're not going to see it. But if you were viewing it on a, on a big screen like, like that, you, you will see it. And uh, I, where am I going with this? Anyway, I think I beat this to death. I think it's better. That's going to be my final one. There will be no take four. <laughs> I might even delete one and two. Now, uh, there, there's no rollback. So uh, I think I should uh, change into my old uh, work shirt and... Uh, uh, get set up to spray here. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to get this all sprayed up. And Murphy's Law says I will. So, okay. 
Now there is one more thing that I did forget to mention here, and that is the temperature outside. Did you notice that it was minus 26 degrees Celsius? Oh my goodness, is this ever going to stop? Yeah, it'll stop. Probably about the time my neighbors come back from wintering in Mexico. Those lucky so-and-sos. <laughs> I think I've mentioned this before, the reason I like to have the, uh, use this as the stage is because uh, I, if I have it up here, I have to sit about two or more inches higher and this, this is actually a lot more comfortable. So uh, that's why I do that. Now we've got this one here, I'll, I'll, I'll recompose, but there's, there's really only two or three places where you can see the bird droppings or seagull droppings really clear. So I'm, I'm going to first see which one is the most definitive and then we'll uh, put on the super macro and see if we can I can show it to you. Otherwise uh, you know I, I have a faint recollection of doing this all before but uh, That helps, especially when you're zoomed right in at maximum magnification. Otherwise, if you're backed right off, just the ordinary room light is, is plenty. Okay, I'm going to try and zoom in on this one right here. And uh, it's, it's the largest. Okay, um, it could be that if I put the super macro on and get my light adjusted right, you can sort of see what it looks like. Uh, well, let's, let's give it a try here. I'll do my best. Okay, I'm going to use my old camera here. It'll shoot at uh, 4K. It just won't do it at 60 frames per second. But for this sort of thing, it doesn't make any difference. If I hear you say frames per second just one more time, I'm going to unsubscribe. Okay, now the best way to focus this lens is to slide the camera back and forth on the subject here. And I think we can probably block this up. Maybe I'll use the helping hand somehow. And it's going to have to be uh, fairly close here. Okay, I'm going to have to just recompose everything. I don't even have this camera turned on yet, so... Okay, as luck would have it, if I use that little block of wood, it puts our uh, little white spot just at the same level, you might say, as the lens. So this, this should work out pretty good. And we'll get ourselves turned on here. And we've got record pressed. We'll sync up the uh, sound and everything later. And... Uh, I just have to watch here. Oh, let's open the lens up all the way. And then we can uh, sort of fine focus, you might say. And 
it is very, very touchy. Uh, when I let go of it, it changes. Okay, now I'm going to stop the lens down a little bit for some kind of depth of field here. And we've got our extra light going, cast a shadow. Yeah, I think that's going to be okay. Um, well, what you see is what you get, folks. Yeah, I know it's not as good as looking through the microscope, but you're seeing it pretty darn good. <clears throat> yeah, you can, you can tell it's a coagulated glob of something, isn't it? Okay. Now, because I'm going to be using the rotator and the parts are going to stay in the right spot all the time, I don't need this little red thing. And one of the viewers was wondering, and probably several were wondering, what was this thing hanging down? Well, that's just so that I knew to hold the part right in this area right here to keep it in the center of the field of view when I was zoomed in. I will zoom in a little bit later. But uh, right now I'm just trying to get set up here. This this thing here, by the way, you may have seen it before. All it is, it's a, it's a, a battery pack that's actually made to, so that you can recharge your cell phone <laughs> uh, if, if you need to. And I, I used to use this uh, when I used to visit my mom in Kelowna to run my iPad. And it would run my iPad, uh, oh, about, I believe about 18 hours, <laughs> non-stop. So, uh, anyway. Now I'll get this nice and centered here where I want it. And we'll be recomposing here in a minute. And I am really liking this airbrush. You know, everything goes together well. You, you, like this, this thing here, when you screw it off, you don't have to fight with it to get it back, to get the threads to mesh like you do on the Iwata one, which is kind of surprising and disappointing, actually. Okay. And we got pressure here. Better check and make sure I got it adjusted right, because I usually turn it down when I'm back flushing when I'm cleaning from the last last time. So just let me uh, uh, recompose here, and then we'll uh, zoom in on the area. I think this one here is the one I'm going to have to be the most careful of because there's a lot of, uh, you know, if I if I flood it, I'm going to lose the detail, so I don't want to do that. Uh, okay, just let me recompose here. Now I did shake this up in the paint shaker about half an hour ago. It looks pretty, you might say, watery. And remember we're going to be using our pipettes now. about as much as I dare and we should have a, a supply of pipettes coming today actually yeah let's put that in the garbage okay very gently now put our lid on I'm going to be letting this run in real time again. And we'll zoom in. Get our fan going.
and this is the last one. Okay, what I'll do is I'll get uh, cleaned up here and maybe we'll have time to take a nice close look at these if they're dry. Okay, these are not dry yet, especially this one right here because uh, I accidentally knocked it over and uh, you might say damaged the paint job. Uh, so I had to just sort of patch it up here and it's probably not, it, it, the surface looks like it's dry but it's I can tell it hasn't shrunk wrap all the way down, so um, yeah, just let me uh, zoom back a bit here. Okay, I'm going to wind it up for this afternoon. And uh, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow and we'll take a close look tomorrow. Oh, and Dennis, don't forget to let us know when your package comes.